Hi, how are you guys? Oh, no clapping, no clapping. <laughs> there are many reasons why I love to do group readings. Because sometimes someone might be grieving and not ready to hear from their departed loved ones. But when they listen to other people's messages and to watch someone heal and change in a positive light right in front of you is amazing. You guys are really a small group of people. So I might be saying something to you and you're like, oh, I don't, that, I don't really connect with that. And you're thinking, oh my God, that sounds like my loved one, please say something. Because I don't, I have no control over who speaks, what spirit has me say or not say, and who gets read. I just have the ability to connect with everyone's loved ones. I don't know why I was chosen to do this, um, but I consider what I do such an honor and a privilege to do this work. So I want to thank you, first of all, in advance for allowing me to share my gift with you, but most importantly, for trusting me with the souls of your departed loved ones. Um, before I get started, I just want to, uh, say to you that if there is anything that even if I'm not looking at you and you want to get my attention, we are a very small group of people. Please get my attention. Um, so I wish you all uh, to the most healing and most amazing and beautiful messages from your departed loved ones today. So I am actually going to start with the dad that is departed. Do you understand the dad that's passed? My dad's passed. Your dad is passed. Because your dad said, this is going to be my only opportunity, Teresa, to speak to my son. He said, I will never get this opportunity again. Did you come by yourself? Yes. No, you didn't know that your dad came with you. Thank you. Well, your dad saluted you. So that means two things for me. It means either he served our country and or you, police officer, fireman. I was a police officer. Are you named after your dad? Because he told me, he said, please tell my son that I am proud of the namesake. My son is named after him. Okay. Your dad also said, <clears throat> did your dad pass him something in the chest? Yes. He just labored my breathing? Yeah. My father was sick with lung cancer, and uh, he had it for a couple of years, and he passed in the hospital about 20 years ago. Did your dad go quickly? Even if somebody was ill, from the time of their, say, diagnosis or where, whatever happened, it, they declined quickly. He had lung cancer and he would go in for an infusion and then like we would think he was going to die. And next thing he was back to normal for like six months. Mowing the lawn. And he, he went back in the hospital and I got a call from the doctor. I didn't realize and, and it, he just went. Just we thought I was going to be picking him up from the hospital the next day, I thought. Your dad also made me, he keeps having me do body scans on you. So when souls have me do that, that that's my symbol for that someone is concerned about their own health. My, my dad was probably talking about, I, I had cancer three times from 9-11, so. I go every year for, for a scan, so. Now, who was the young female that departed? Young for me is anyone that left the physical world before we feel their time. My daughter. Okay. So know that your dad brings forward your daughter. My daughter passed away 21 years ago. So know that she says, just know that my soul is at peace with God and that my soul has continued to grow on the other side. Because I feel like she was so little. It was, she was an infant. How do you connect with the number seven? With your daughter? Uh, they were born on May 7th. She was born on the 7th? Yeah. Okay. Can you connect with the month of July? July, July is when uh, she got sick, so. My daughter Stephanie passed away at three months old, and she was in the hospital for, since, since she was born. What she had, was it very rare? It was an E. coli infection that they normally wouldn't get. What better way to validate? Do you, you understand yes. that? Yes. That your, even after all these years, your daughter's soul has been with you. And your dad say that I am sorry what you had to endure in your life, but I want you to know how proud I am of you. Um, so, uh, who's the young male that died? Do we understand the young male? He steps forward and he actually labored my breathing. 
<clears throat> so that's my symbol for that he passed from something of the heart, lungs, and or chest. The young male would be my son. OK. Was your son then cremated? He was. OK. And did you put him in jewelry or do... in here? <laughs> that's right. So know that your son knows what you did in memory and in honor of him and supports on how you chose to lay him to rest. Did your son want to be an organ donor? He did. <gasps> Because he goes, do you believe they couldn't take any of my organs, Teresa? That's true. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it's true. I have three boys. Anthony was the middle son. He was 23 years old when he passed. He was very funny, super bright, very talented musician. He was just the light of all of our lives, really the center of our family, just the glue, the one that brought us all together. No one can tell you how to connect with your loved ones. How do you connect with feathers? Or you find feathers in odd places? He sends me feathers all the time. <gasps> Shut up! Yeah. After he had passed, he sends us blue jay feathers, which is crazy. Last summer, my husband received about 20 different blue jay feathers. And just recently, I was away on a trip, and I was packing my suitcase. And a white feather, just when I looked down, was sticking out of my suitcase. Your son left the physical world very unexpected. Is that correct? I, he made me feel like he didn't even know what happened, because he hit me in the back of the head. So that's my symbol for that the soul immediately left the physical body. And then he brought me to the chest. Yes. And I had difficulty breathing. That's it. One year and four months ago, my son Anthony passed away from COVID-related complications. During the initial stages of COVID, he really isolated because he didn't believe in the vaccination. At the end of 2021, he was starting to feel a little safe and went to the movies with his friends um, right before Christmas, and they all got COVID. So on January 1st, 2022, he called an ambulance on himself because he couldn't breathe. So they took him to a hospital where he was there for four and a half months. He honestly didn't even think that he was going to pass because he goes, Teresa, I was getting better. He was. He goes, this is the crazy thing. He goes, I was so sick. He goes, if they thought that I, that I was going to die, it would have been days before. hundred percent. And he says, but though that last day was such a good day. When I rally, it was the best day. The day that he passed, it was really shocking because he was actually starting to get better. Um, he was so excited to get out of bed the next day. So then the doctor was performing a minor procedure and he winds up basically bleeding to death because this tube, which was the only form of oxygen, popped out of his neck and he lost so much blood that he went into cardiac arrest. Your son says, Mom, I want you to know I was not afraid when I died. OK. And I lived my life on my terms. He definitely did. And I want to thank you for giving me that. This confirms that he is very much here, very much around us. I'm searching now for something, finding my way. It really brought me the sense of peace as a mother because as a mom, you want to protect your kids, you know? So um, I wasn't there to protect him, but to know that he wasn't in pain really brought me a lot of peace that I feel like I can go on and live happier.